This will be a speed test between the iPhone 11 Pro Max versus the iPhone XS Max from last year. Now they're both on iOS 13. 11 Pro Max is on the A13 Bionic chip. XS Max on the A12 Bionic chip. 11 Pro Max has the triple camera setup on the back, as you can see, the fidget spinner setup, whereas the XS Max has the dual camera setup. So compare the two right there. Let me know which one you think looks better. I don't know, man. I still cannot get used to just how this looks. Looks kind of like a fidget spinner or an electric shaver, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, go ahead and turn on both at the same time. See which one has the faster boot up. Let's go. Will the 11 Pro boot up faster? Will that 813 make a difference here? Let's find out. What will happen? Oh! And would you look at that? Tennis Max actually booted up faster. Interesting. And we are in! All right, so let's go ahead and just swipe over to where all my apps are. And as you can see, everything in the background has been cleared. All apps and caches cleared. Safari has been cleared. So when we do the browsing test, it should be nice and fair. So let's get started by tapping the phone app. 11 Pro. This one, messages, call that one a tie. We'll check out the camera right now. We'll do it like this so you can see the viewfinder. And give that, oh, we'll give that to the 11 Pro Max. 10S Max was a little bit of a lag there. That was quite interesting. And then we'll test out the clock, start the stopwatch, leave it there. All right, let's go to Safari right now. Okay, I'm gonna click on Google. We'll pull this up. Okay, what do we search for? Um, let's go to Apple. And then continue on this. Apple. Apple Store, Apple, just the first one, Apple. Oh, I misspelled it. There you go. Apple, Apple Store, or just Apple, Apple. A little bit of a pop up there. And then let's see, we'll go to, where's the, um, here we go. Took me a while. Can I pinch to zoom on this? Yes, I can. Nice and smooth on the 10S Max still, one year later. And it better be smooth on the 11 Pro Max, and it is, as you can see. No issues. All right, let's go to like something else. Let's go to, let's go to Verge. And I didn't spell that right. Whoops. And uh, again, another typo. My God. There we go. And then we'll click on this. Check out the browsing performance. Ooh, I think this one might be split second faster, actually. Check out the scrolling. Pinch to zoom. Nice and quick. Okay, let's go one more. Just do one more. We'll go GSM Arena. I always check GSM Arena. And then do this. Okay, I think that was the 11 Pro on that one. We'll go all the way to the bottom and then we'll check out the desktop version. And let's see. Okay, I think the ads here came up first on the 11 Pro, but not really a big difference, really. Identical performance, maybe a split second faster on the left, but I think you'll be fine on either device. And then on this one, ooh, see this one, 10S Max was actually a little bit faster. So go ahead and close this out now. And then we do have the calculator here. Pretty much the same. And then we have the app store on both. And then we'll do a search for my favorite app. Some of you may know. And then we'll click on this, about the same. And then let's see, click on this one. And then we'll click on get. Nah, 
leave it there. And then let's go to Amazon right now. All right, a little bit faster on the left so you can see. Deal of the day. And again, a little bit faster on the left. We'll click on this one. And left again, a little bit quicker. Go on eBay real quick. And 11 Pro out in front. We'll click on these iPhones. Whoops, missed touch. Now onto some games, Super Mario Run. Loading on both phones. And let's see, oh, a little bit faster on the, actually a lot faster on the 11 Pro. Tennis Max was a little bit of a lag there. Oh, but then the Tennis Max was actually faster running the game. So you guys are the judges on that one. Check this one out, Temple Run 2 Lost Jungle. And we'll give the win to the 11 Pro Max, as you can see. You know, we'll just have to play real quick and then get out of that. And then Angry Birds 2. Starting up and logging in on both phones. And I think the 11 Pro is ahead. Yup, we'll give the win to the 11 Pro on this. As you can see. And then we have Asphalt 9 on both. And again, the 11 Pro out in front. All right, so the A13 Bionic flexing its muscles a little bit here, gaining a little bit of separation. Not a lot though, as you can see. And then waiting for the, whoops, what's this? Get out of that, play, and then right there. Okay, and then of course we have to test out the PUBG Mobile. Yeah, the A13 Bionic here, gaining a little bit of separation, so you can see. Just a little bit faster overall, and see it's already in the game. So you can see. Now, whether this justifies an upgrade or not, it's up to you. Just showing the differences here. Photoshop Express. And again, a little bit faster on the left. This one does have more pictures though. So you can take this one with a grain of salt if you want. We'll click on this picture. This is an 8K image that I have on both phones. And then, so let's see, we'll just click on basic. And then I'm gonna choose, let's say I'm gonna choose autumn since it's almost the fall here where I'm at. And then we'll click on this. And both phones lagging here, a little bit faster on the A13 Bionic 11 Pro. We'll go ahead and save on the camera roll, see which one will do this faster. Oops, missed touch. No, that was not a missed touch. A little bit faster on the left. As you can see, now to some social media apps, Twitter. And give that to the 11 Pro. And then we do have IG on both. 11 Pro again. WhatsApp on both. Once again, 11 Pro. Will the 11 Pro sweep the bottom row? Let's find out. Snapchat goes to the 11 Pro as well. All right, let's take a look at the RAM management on both phones. Both phones do have eight gigs of RAM. And so you can see everything's in the background here. Good to go. So we'll just go ahead and just run through these apps again. Go in reverse. We'll see what, what happens. Any signs of lag or any stuttering, any reloads. Not seeing anything yet. Nice and smooth really on both phones. And then we have Angry Birds 2 here. Get out of that and then Temple Run 2 is up next. Ready to resume on both. Mario time on both, ready to play. And then eBay, a little bit of a stutter on the right. Nothing too crazy though. Yeah, just zooming through these apps. Nice and smooth. As you can, ooh, a little bit of a lag on the 11 Pro Max. That was interesting on the stopwatch. And then the camera, we'll do it like this. And, ah, uh, might be a little bit faster on the right. It's quite interesting. Messages. There you go. And the phone app. Boom. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this matchup. iPhone 10s Max here on the right. If you have this phone, are you gonna make the switch to the iPhone 11 Pro or the 11 Pro 
Max. Do the features of the 11 Pro justify an upgrade from the 10s Max? Or are you just gonna keep this phone? If you have an older iPhone, like an iPhone 10, iPhone 8, or iPhone 7, are you gonna make the switch to the 11 Pro Max? Personally, if you have the 10s or 10s Max from last year, I say just keep your phone. Not really that big of a difference overall. Split second differences here and there. Not really enough to justify an upgrade, unless you absolutely need that third lens on a camera, or if you just wanna be on the latest specs, A13, Bionic, etc. Everything's pretty much the same. The screen looks the same. Same notch, comparing the two phones in the back. One can argue that this phone actually looks a little bit better. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, peace out. As you saw in this test, the performance is essentially blah, blah.